Hey, it's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 15. Uh, we're still on our great demand. We've got our wheel loader purchased now, heading back from the shop, uh, picking it right back up where we left off. Uh, we'll get down here and sell this silage a little faster here. We made 5700 per bucket on the, uh, the small front load uh, bucket with on the tractor. And uh, it's a 1,860 liter capacity. This is a 6,400 liter capacity. So, pretty curious to see what we get on normal with this big bucket. So, without further ado, we'll do it. Let's get to it here. Alright. Get the bucket down. Scoop it up. And we bought our uh, log fork for our uh, wheel loader too, so we could sell the trees. Uh, the big oak trees and the uh, I guess the poplars we we'll probably need this for the poplar trees all right let's get this sold what uh, what capacity are we at 16,004 I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the fast time here so that'll go down quicker makes the uh, capacity go down quicker I don't think it's cheating there shouldn't be a capacity limit on it anyway in my opinion but Let's see how much we get per bucket down here, just out of curiosity. Now, if we leave it dumping until it's empty, we'll get a grand total there. 19,626, so I was about right. Um, I think I stated previously on the easy per bucket, you get 40,000, and I said you'd probably get close to 20,000 per bucket on normal, and we're playing normal. So we're getting about $20,000 per bucket here. Not bad definitely want to get back into uh, silage production for biogas uh, it's a good money maker hopefully we'll get enough out of this to uh, get a forage harvester I think that's going to be the next equipment purchase and uh, hopefully we'll have enough money to uh, to do that and I'm actually thinking about turning this up to 15 guys because uh, I've got it on 5x now and it's still full pretty much full I'm having to wait and time is money so thinking about turning it up to 15 we've uh, just about got this first bunker here I didn't keep up with uh, grand totals. I'll be able to look at the harvest total once we get finished with the bunkers here. Yeah, I'm going to turn this up to uh, 15. Because it's having a hard time keeping up with me. Whoa. Slam that bucket down. It doesn't matter which one you put it in, and I think you can dump it right in the middle, but I don't know, the animation so shows some of it going on the ground, and I like it more consistent when you put it in one, and it shows the whole bit going in there, so. Uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll fluctuate our time here, I think. We'll go back, back and forth between 5x and uh, 15 on the time. I know some of the modded maps out there have these uh, sail points down in the ground. Makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, like uh, this one here. See how it's elevated? You know, you have to raise your bucket up and dump it in these tanks. Some maps have it in the ground. And uh, I don't know how legit that is, but it does make sailing easier. And if you have a conveyor belt and a... Uh, trailer that'll hold silage it makes it a whole lot easier because you can just you know back your trailer under here fill it up with a conveyor belt and uh, sell big loads at a time well how come I'm not scooping that up there I didn't get a full bucket we want full buckets here come on here we go oh, what happened there I think I got a uh, too much tilt on the bucket maybe 
So yeah, look, we're up to 99,000 already. Alright, and, um... Whoa. And I, I talked about getting the Chrome Forge Harvester. Um, but I think it's more expensive. How much is the Chrome? 415,000. How much is the New Holland? 385,000. It's cheaper, and I like it better. So you know what we're probably going to buy? Probably the New Holland. We may get the Chrome, you know, down the line just so we, you know, have a variety we could choose of what we want to use. I know we have the New Holland over on the Bjornholm map. And on so Snowfka we have the Rostel Mash. And uh, really thinking about upgrading that. Oh, you know what? This is empty. I need to slow down the time. I may just have to keep it at 5x. See, the thing is, you know, the faster the time goes, your great demand starts running out. I'm down to 17 hours. And, um... The price is actually down a little bit, but it's not like the other crops, like I said before. Uh, it doesn't go drastically down. It's going to hover around 3,000. It may it may go up and down, you know, just a little, because, you know, all, all prices go up and down just a little bit. But, uh, like, say you had a uh, $1,200 uh, price tag on wheat. You sell a bunch of wheat in, in within an hour, and after that hour, your price is going to drop down to maybe 600, something like that. It's going to be reduced almost by half. So, silage doesn't do that. Wood chips do, I think. I think the wood chips are affected, but not silage. So that's a plus for us. I don't know why it's not. You would think it would be. Maybe they forgot to put that in there or something. Just about got this uh, bunker here done. But yeah, we need a means of uh, making more uh, chaff. And uh, that way we can do more work here. I will say, this does take... Uh, persistence and uh, patience because it's repetitive I mean you're just going back and forth loading this into the bucket all right now I want to left a little bit I want to make sure that this is empty so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn on the automatic help and uh, no it's not empty it says one percent I have left something here. Let me go ahead and sell this little bit. I'm just going to run through here with my bucket. I don't know where that 1% is at. It says I've got uh, one liter left. You know, this was a glitch, I do believe. Um, I ran into this one time playing on PC. Uh, we had one liter left and I never could get it out. So if, if that's the case here, we may have a problem with Bunker 1. Let me run this bucket through here and see if I can pick it up. If I can find it. I bet it's down at the end. I've got the bucket all the way on the ground. I'm pushing it. Still says 1%. I don't know, guys. I may have an issue here. This is why I never filled them up to 100% because I thought that was the problem. Still says 1%. I don't know, I can't pick it up for some reason. Wherever it's at. I don't see anything. That 
a uh, get down here and get my bucket just down low enough to where it doesn't drag. Zero fill level. I don't know where it's at. Should be in the center, I would think, because it all kind of falls to the center. I don't. I'm not picking it up. That may be a problem. We may not be able to use bunker one anymore. Which is going to suck because it's the one directly in front of the, uh, the sail point. I'm trying. Got the bucket all the way down. Yeah, okay, so that may be glitched out. We'll have to uh, see in the future if it, let us, if it will let us dump any more in there. Go ahead and get this. Hopefully the other bunkers won't do the same thing. I don't know where it could be. I'm gonna after after we get done selling, I may go down the edges and try to pick it up on the edges. Could hurt us. I'd hate to have to reset the game. I mean, it's not impossible to do. It just takes some uh, some work uh, off recording to get it back to where we're at. But uh, may have to do that because you know we need that bunker. Get all that there. There we go. It may be back down at that other end where I didn't get all that that one time. I don't know. If there's a way to get it out, I may have to look that up. And it may just be glitched. that up a little higher I think if I get the tanks full here we're on 5x so if I get the tanks full I may try to run down the edges of that over there hope our other bunkers don't do that when I played on PC, that's the only bunker that did that, was that first bunker. Now, I've, I've played Westbridge before and uh, several times, and I've only had that happen once. So it may just be a, a particular load or something, or... I don't know. That's why I never filled mine completely up to 100%. I always did something like, you know, 97% or something like that, because I, th I was thinking the overfill did it. But we only had it filled up uh, to about, what, 10 or 11%? So, uh, hopefully we can get that resolved and fixed. Alright, we're about 100,000 away from uh, our forage harvester.
And then after that, I think after the forage harvester, we need to get land. We need to get some fields. Not the biggest or anything, you know. Because we don't have, you know, big equipment to handle those fields, really. What we'll probably do is get the uh, smallest ones first. I'm thinking maybe five and six. They're, I know they're small, but uh, they're cheap. And uh, we might even be able to get field 10. If we could get field 10, we could uh, have a field in between those small fields and the, the drive would be uh, the drive would be about worth it. And we could actually actually get actually actually yeah, two words there. Uh, we could actually get field maybe four, depending on how much it costs. Or maybe even field seven or something like that. They've got some trees around them, so we can make a little bit of our uh, profit back. I know uh, Field 8 has uh, trees all the way around it except for one side. So that would be a good investment. Because we can, if we limb the trees up, which I did on those that I cleaned up around Field 16 this last time, uh, instead of getting two or 3000 per tree, you get 5000 oh, a little over 5000 per tree. So uh, we'll go ahead and limb them up and clean them up and um, you can take them one at a time on the log trailer. Get a little more money for them. So $5,000 per tree and uh, there's quite a few trees down there. And not only would that, you know, make us a little bit of money, but it would help clean up the edges of the field so that we could expand it a little bit and uh, increase the crop output on it. So. Yeah, I hate that about Bunker 1. I hope I can resolve that. And we're getting close to the end of the episode. Hoping I'll have enough to buy the forage harvester here at the end of the episode. Before we get to the end. I should be able to. I've only got a couple more scoops left. Before I can get it. down to 3% on this one. Alright, we've got this full. I think I want to run down this other. Uh, we've got enough money for our forage harvester, so I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Where is it at? Yeah, that crown's 415 and uh, I don't know, I like this New Holland better. So we're going to get it. And real quick, I'm while that's full, I'm going to run down uh, the edges of one and see if I can get that one liter out of there. That just, that bugs me. Let me get my bucket all the way down. One liter, one percent. Come on, pick it up. I'm gonna run down the other side. This is a known glitch, though. And if I remember right, the last time I had it, it wouldn't let me dump any more. Uh, it wouldn't let me dump any more chaff in it because of that one percent that's in there. Still didn't get it. Try going down the middle again. Still didn't get it. Let me just turn my shovel into the ground and see if that gets it. May not get very far doing that. Yeah, a little bump there. 
So I've got my shovel straight into the ground here now. I'm desperate. I'm trying to get it out. And it's not working, so. Alright, well. Let's head over to the shop real quick and take a nice look at our new forage harvester that we bought. Got our uh, log forks there that we bought previous episode. And uh, this is a really nice forage harvester. I like it. So we'll work with that in the future and uh, hopefully we can get this bunker fixed here. Um, if not, uh, I don't know if we'll reset it or not. We'll, we'll have to think about it. Let's just make sure this one bunker works. Hopefully it will. So uh, we'll keep selling here. And uh, now that we've got our forage harvester, we need to get a header for it. And I uh, really need one more uh, Flygel trailer. And uh, then we'll get some fields. So we'll pick this back up next episode. We'll probably still be selling. Uh, or we'll go ahead and sell it and uh, get these bunkers emptied and uh, move on uh, next time. So until then, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade.